Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the outpost. Um, I have done some work on the sawmill and what I'm fixing to do is I'm fixing to cut some strips to go in between my bunks uh, to keep the sawmill from sliding uh, because I decided to take the feet off of it. Let me take you in here and show you what I'm talking about. These feet right here actually went underneath right here and came up through and had a nut that went down on top of them to uh, be able to screw this up and down and level it. Well, when we had put the footers in for these 2x12s, you know, not really having put a sawmill together before, we weren't really sure, you know, if it needed the feet or not. Um, but what I decided to do was, every once in a while as the machine would come down the track and vibrate, um, the screw might get just a little bit turned because it didn't have a lock washer on it and it might get a little bit unlevel and you have to go back through and level it up again. So what I decided to do was go ahead and take those off and I took a 2x6 and I went across underneath each bunk. Let me show you what I'm talking about. What I did is <clears throat> I took this 2x6 and I went across and especially this one, the next one, and then the one on down there that's got these feet right here that raise up and down or these legs that raise up and down uh, to keep the log from rolling off. What I did was put these underneath the rail and then I brought them to the front lip on this side right here. So what I'm fixing to do is cut a strip to go in here that will actually butt up against this and butt up against this. And I will screw that down and that will actually keep the track from sliding either way. And I also had, the other day, I put these little uh, short blocks of tuba fours and screwed those in with some four inch uh, screws to keep the rail from going what I thought that I would just add just a little bit more because when I start sawing my sheeting I've got some pretty good sized white pines that I'm going to be putting on here and I may have to build me a little bit of a ramp and roll them up because I don't think the tractor is going to lift them up but anyway I'm going to work on that little project and see if I can't uh, get those in there get it screwed down and just kind of beef that up a little bit Okay, what I did was I took my chisel and I kind of shaved down a little bit right there underneath this bolt. Took about an eighth of an inch off because it, when I drove it back in there, it was wanting to kind of pick up the track up off of the 2x6. So now that I've got that in there, uh, it's nice and tight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two and a half inch screws and I'm going to put four in here and that should keep that track from moving.
okay I've got this little job done I've actually got one in each bunk and that's going to help to hold that track to keep it from sliding not that it does slide uh, but I just was trying to think ahead of time if I got some bigger logs on there and especially if I was trying to roll them up on the track I didn't know that if you know they might have a little bit of a limb still sticking out and the tractor pushing if it might want to push the sawmill sideways um, I'm probably going to try to take I've got a 7x7 seven seven that I've got left over there that's that's pine actually I may go ahead and cut it in half and see if I can make me a six foot ramp um, that will sit down here that way I can pick them up when I uh, shut the doors I still have yet to hang those um, but will allow me to pull the log up and be able to take my bucket and kind of roll it so that it's not too steep I should be able to roll it and that was another reason for lowering this which I got I lowered it approximately that much uh, maybe two two and a half inches by taking the feet out so it got a little bit closer to the ground and that seven by seven um, if I kind of cut it on an angle then I should be able to not have too steep of an incline by to take that bucket and roll that log up here
You know, there's nothing like uh, food cooked over the fire. It's so good. This coffee, uh, the type of grind that we purchased was um, for the French press. But man, it sure does make the coffee taste so much better. If you're interested in this coffee, you can actually find it on our website. It's a, a special blend and it's not cheap, it is expensive. This type right here is the French press. You would have to let us know if you wanted a different type of a grind. But anyway, if you're interested, you can find it on the website. So what I did was is I set this 7x7 seven seven up there and I determined how much uh, lip I wanted down here that I thought maybe that the log would weigh so that it wouldn't crack it when I rolled it up on there. And I determined probably about two and a half inches because this is pretty tough. So what I did was is I took two and a half inches right there all the way down to the base back here, which is the top of this right here, and I struck a line. I also, right here, I kind of notched it out a little bit for these rails where it would slide up closer to the rail. And that gives me more of a lip to set on and probably what I'll do is I'll take some blocking and I'll dig down in here to help support this. Uh, but the other thing that I did was the the small thin piece that I had cut from the other side I took this piece right here 
which this is sort of a wedge shape and I measured it right here to where it even goes down a little bit thinner and what I'll do is I'll put me one hinge right here so that that will fold back like that and then I can pick this up and take it and store it but this will uh, help uh, to be able to roll the log when I start it with the tractor um, that'll just slide right down there like that and I don't have as much of a step to come up on here anyway uh, that will have to be removable because the doors will go on here and I'll have to be able to shut the door but primarily the reason that I'm building these things is just so that I can get that big log up here on the sawmill so I hope you enjoy this little video on modifying the sawmill which I've done two or three times but I think that this is going to be better with it sitting right down on the frame instead of on those little feet and I'm able to anchor it down uh, much better and then these uh, rails that I just built I think that that's going to be much better to be able to get those big logs up on the sawmill um, and the sawmill is actually setting down about two and a half inches lower now so anyway I'm going to go ahead and wrap up everything be sure uh, on the giveaways that you guys um, watch for those and be sure and follow the video follow the instructions in there on getting your name in uh, you know my son and I the reason like I said before that we're doing that we really appreciate you all supporting our channel and watching and enjoying what we're doing and I also hope that uh, somebody is learning a little something you know so we just want to wish everyone a great evening take care be safe and we look forward to seeing you at the outpost in the future